Well, it's one of the most popular art shows in the country, and it's this weekend right here in Kentuckyana. Our resident art expert, WDRB's Joel Skipper, joining us live from Old Louisville with a look at what will bring out hundreds of thousands of people, and I bet you're getting some pre-sale items that we won't be able to nab. You know, I would like to. I'd like to think that's happening, but it's not, Scott. About a quarter million people are going to be out here over the next couple of days, and the crews behind me, they're working right now. They've been here for at least a few days, but however, for some artists, it takes years to get here. Copper has a variation of colors. Trying to do is bring out the color tones of copper. Dawn Hatsidakis focusing on every detail in her art. This will be her fifth year at the St. James Court Art Show. You've got to have something that's different, unique, something you can't go to a store and go see. The no parking signs already up as crews are setting up for the artist load in on Thursday. More than 650 juried artists will be here Friday through Sunday for what's known as one of the most popular and prestigious art shows in the country. You're going to see a different setup in terms of the food. A lot of the artists are coming back. I think 60% of our artists are new, which is really a good sign. Mm -hmm. The types of art will also be a little more diverse. Oh, the, there will the be 17 part, different healing. artistic mediums, some translating into performance thanks to Louisville's Fund for the Arts. They're going to actually be performances throughout the show, uh, about 10 to 12 minute performances in Central Park. Not only are the artists from all over the country, but so are the visitors. This couple that comes from West Virginia every year and sees me, and they come specifically to come to St. James. So yeah, they, it's a nice travel show. Organizers say part of the show's success is knowing its place and role in the art community, especially after nearly seven decades. We're not New York, we're not San Francisco, we're not Los Angeles or Florida, and yet we can draw 225,000 people as a regional show with a national reputation. Now, I know this is a free outdoor event. However, dogs and pets are not allowed unless they are service animals. When it comes to weather, this is rain or shine unless it is thunderstorming. And as for traffic and closures, we have much more information on our website at WDRB.com. Live in Old Louisville, Joel Skipper, WDRB News.